In this step, we will install the upper structural sides. Prior to installation, uh, note the orientation of the machine. You're looking at the back of the y-axis rails and you'll notice that the z-axis motor is to the left. For each of these upper structural sides, you'll need two quarter inch screws, one and a half inches long, and two cross dowels. Attach the other upper structural side to the opposite side of the y-axis rail. In this next step, we'll attach bearings on the x-axis bearing mount that will be used as x-axis table guides. For each side, you'll need two number 10 screws at least one and a half inches long. You'll need a spacer if this is a part of the kit, and you'll need washers and nuts. Insert this bearing assembly into the x-axis bearing mount as shown. Do the same thing for the next bearing. This mount can now be attached to the lower structural side. You will need two quarter inch screws at one and a half inches in length and two cross dowels. Repeat these steps for the other bearing mount and lower structural side. If this table portion was from the kit, you'll need to use spacers as shown. Flip the table over and position the rails so the holes align with the rails. Insert number eight screws as shown in the video and make sure that the screws are inserted in the way shown so that the screw head is flat against the table not protruding above the table into the counter bore. Use number 8 screws that are 1 inches in length. 